Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for giving so much love to our videos and asking your doubts and queries. Recently, we got a query: me, uh, how can we handle the errors of a macro? We created a video on uh, run macro action of uh, MS Excel BBO. You can watch that uh, video if you don't have any idea of uh, macros in Blue Prism. Uh, we have this action to run the macro we can give inputs but in output we won't get anything i mean if there is any error or something happen in the macro then we won't be able to know the reason or the uh, error message so for this either we there can be multiple reason multiple ways to capture the error message or handle the errors of macros we will uh, discuss all that uh, so first thing we can do we can uh, create a block uh, around this yeah, if there is any error or something happen so we can uh, apply a recover or resume stage uh, to capture that error uh, using a calculation stage we can capture that and also we can apply try and catch here in the code stage of this uh, run macro action when we open this run macro action go to code stage so here we can apply try and catch this is the another way to capturing the error of a macro for this we need to make a change in the code itself or in the blue prism process and if we use try and catch or recover or resume then we will get only error message but we want to make sure that our macro is gets completed or it is not completed and if it it is not completed then what is the error message okay so for this we can do one thing in our macro itself for example i have this excel sheet and uh, i will create a macro uh, to for do the formatting on this header okay so for this i will go to developer tab uh, create on record macro and uh, this is the macro 3 click on okay and I will apply some formatting. So this is uh, some steps of which uh, macro will perform. Okay. Now go to this macro and here in we can see uh, it is it will select the range and it will perform all the actions. Uh, this is the macro. Okay. Now when we run this, uh, let's say let me undo changes. okay so this is our uh, this will be our uh, input data or excel sheet and uh, when we run the macro and this is macro 3 run so all the formatting will be done by the macro itself now how uh, we will run this macro by using blue prism action but uh, we want to make sure that this x this macro has executed all the steps successfully for example if we uh, for example uh, let's create some error in this uh, if i edit some value uh, for example e and this uh, for something now it, it will now it will throw an error uh, because this is not a proper uh, range uh, this is not a means a correct uh, range so when we go back to excel let me undo changes and now when we run the macro okay run the macro 3 see we are getting some error method range of object global field so these type of errors we want to capture okay so for this we can do one thing in our code so so we have this uh, code of macro or uh, these are the steps which uh, macro will perform what i will do is I will add a line of code bef uh, a line of code before this these steps. So that line will be on error. Go to eh eh will be exception handling block. And after this code, I will create eh block. 
okay so eh means a block and if there is any error occurs inside this code then this will go to the eh block and here in eh we will get the error description by using this function e double r dot description okay now we got this error description fine but how we will pass this uh, to the blue prism or uh, means how will we know our boat has post uh, means our macro has run successfully or not so for this we will create a function for the write function and the name of the function so the name of the function will be output and we will pass a parameter a uh, message um, it's output message uh, as string. Okay. In this function, we will assign that message to a range. Range dot value is equal to message. But first, let's see what will be the range uh, in range when we go to our Excel file. So I'm using only five columns. So this F1 is a blank. Similarly, you can uh, use any another column or any another blank cell means which means which will be going to blank every day. So for example, if I use this A22, uh, it might possible that uh, in future we may have um, one extra employee or one more employee. So this a22 will not be blank every day. but in my uh, case it will be f12 will be f1 will be blank so we can use any of the uh, any uh, means any empty cell and go back to the code and uh, write the cell uh, cell name here so in our uh, example we are using f1 so in this function, we are assigning this uh, string to the uh, F1 uh, cell. But now from where we will get this message. So in this uh, macros subroutine, we will get here. You need to call this function output and in parenthesis, we need to pass a string. But f before this, we will add a logic uh, if condition means if out if error description is not equal to null it's not equal to null. then then do this okay so this is how we can capture the uh, error message let me show you see uh, if we run the, uh, if we let me remove the formatting uh, from this cell only. so if i run the macro and uh, and if we need to end this if. now go to the code and here we can see f1 is blank let me remove the formatting now go to developer tab and run the macro macro 3 and run okay see we can see formatting has done but there isn't anything in the f1 column because there isn't any error now let's say if i make any some changes in this uh, uh, range so now this type of range is not available a1 colon e1 at the rate at the rate so this is an incorrect uh, range so when we run the macro so when we run the macro we can see error message here method range of object global field so this is how we can capture the error message in our excel sheet okay now we want to make sure that we has run successfully so for that these are the steps which macro will perform so at the end of these steps i will add one thing i will call this function And in parameter, I will pass completed. So if there isn't any error, if we remove all this extra values, 
so now this time what will uh, this uh, macro will run successfully and in the output we will get completed so on in the f1 uh, range it will write complete See, completed. So this is how we can get the status of the macro. I mean, if it is completed or not, and if there is any error or not, we can get the, all these details. Similarly, we can add output after each line. Means, uh, if there are a lot of steps, so we can say means uh, this type of steps are completed. I means uh, here we are uh, doing, uh, we are making the font as bold. So we can. Uh, uh, call this output and write means uh, a font has bold that step is completed or in step 1 is completed like that we can add those type of steps uh, we can add those type of comments as well and uh, in this uh, f1 like uh, we are uh, uh, passing only one parameter here but also we can pass the cell value or range value like uh, cell value uh, cell name as string okay so uh, this value instead of f1 we will write cell value cell name sorry and when we call the function so we will pass the cell value as well and uh, let me uh, if i am giving g1 here uh, g1 g cell name g1 let's assign a variable here now here also after completed uh, we will write this i mean uh, ne let's see like this a uh, step two completed and write this in g2 g2 now a uh, step one completed it will write in the uh, G1 and step two will be in G2. Similarly, we can uh, uh, do this for uh, do for this one as well. Add a description. Uh, run the bot. Uh, run the macro. Not the bot. See. In G1 we can say step 1 completed, in G2 we can say step 2 completed. Or we can uh, like write in only in the G1. So uh, we will be able to know means uh, if uh, <coughs> there are a lot of steps, so we will uh, we will write only in one uh, cell. So if the macro has terminated after performing step 1, so we will we can see step 1 completed here. And similarly, if macro has terminated after executing step 7, so we will be able to see step 7 completed. So this is how we can add our comments in the Excel file itself and then we will go to the blue prism and here uh, we will select ms excel vbo and get cell value so now we will pass the handle and the cell reference means f1 or f2 uh, in whichever cell like uh, we have written the comments so from there we can fetch it and assign the output to a value now we will use a Now we will use a, a decision stage and we will see whether value include uh, 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 well, value include completed or not uh, or whatever message we have passed means uh, step one completed or whatever. So if the if that that doesn't contain these type of comments complete completion comments, so that means there is some error and that error we can throw in the blue prism itself. So we can add a exception stage or uh, and we can throw that error means after running the macro we are getting this type of errors so this is how you we can handle the errors of a macro just you need to add this uh, piece of code this function and in the end add all these steps uh, or this one only and in the beginning add this line of code that simple So thank you guys and thank you so much for asking your doubts. I'm very happy to clear your doubts. Okay.
thanks for watching this video do comments your more doubts and queries thanks guys bye Thank you.